Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about GameCube emulation as well as Switch emulation. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Wii and GameCube emulation on PC with Dolphin. Some people might not like to hear this news, but it's official. Dolphin has dropped support for earlier versions of Windows. Now, if you're a member of this channel, chances are this news is absolutely no surprise, considering we knew it was coming back in May. Fortunately, the Dolphin team did provide a great write-up explaining exactly why they're dropping support for earlier versions of Windows, and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. I do recommend checking it out. And surprisingly here, it doesn't really seem to be affecting a whole lot of people. They also supplied their user base, and a whopping 98.4% of the Dolphin user base is not affected at all. 1.6% of Dolphin users will be affected. And to break these numbers down even further, for Windows users on Dolphin, 75% of them have Windows 10. 21% of them have Windows 11. 1.78 uh, are on Windows 7. 0.91 on Windows 8.1 and 0.29 on Windows 8. So it's a very small subset of people. Mind you though, these numbers are definitely not the entire picture, but they do give you a really good general idea of the Windows user base for Dolphin. So from here on out, if you want to use the latest and greatest version of Dolphin on Windows, you will need at least Windows 10. And if you do have Windows 7 or 8, turn off your auto update so you don't accidentally get updated to a version that doesn't work for you. On top of that, the currently released beta build is the last beta that will have support for Windows 7 and 8. And for those of you who are still running Windows 7 or Windows 8 for some reason or another, don't think I'm judging you here because I'm absolutely not. If you currently have Dolphin or if you're currently using Dolphin, just don't update it and you're absolutely fine. If you want the latest and greatest version of Dolphin, what I recommend doing instead is just dual booting with Linux. Linux is free. If you have a hard drive, just partition it and put Linux on the partition. Or if you've got an extra hard drive, just boot Linux off that, or even a USB stick if you've got one big enough. Next up here, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline, because why wouldn't we be? I was honestly expecting maybe a day or two before the next Skyline news. But no, I was messaged by the developers of Skyline, and yes, we've got another breakthrough. Now, being true to my brand here, this news is no fluff. I'm not trying to make news out of nothing. I'm not trying to sensationalize a tiny piece of news. This is actually a pretty substantial performance improvement. If we take a look, this is Cluster Truck running close to 50 frames a second. Hollow Knight is running close to 60 frames a second. And Resident Evil 4 is running close to 20 frames a second, which is about 1000% faster. That is quite a bit. On top of that, Hollow Knight here and Cluster Truck are running 50% faster than they used to. Now this performance improvement did not just apply to games like Hollow Knight, Resident Evil 4, and Cluster Truck. It also applies to a bunch of other games. For example, Sakuna here is running twice as fast as it used to. And Metroid is running a heck of a lot faster and looking pretty darn good in the process. Even Bastion is running at a stable 60 frames a second. For a quick explanation of this improvement, at a really high level here, basically the developer implemented a way for games to access data on the GPU a lot faster. So yes, this is a pretty darn big performance improvement and I can't wait to see what's next. And based on this pace for the developers, we're probably not going to have to wait too long. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts on anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was Dolphin dropping support for earlier versions of Windows or even the Skyline massive performance improvements. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.